Hey guys, Evans with Z411 here to say to bring you a new episode of Life is Strange. This is episode 3 of episode 4 of 5 episodes in a series being released by Square Enix. If you don't know what it is, then be sure to check out the playlist. And I am going to be... Max keeps dropping hints about how I can distract David. But I'm going to do something controversial. Controversial? That's not how you say it. Controversial. I'm going to move this plank. Because I actually want these birds Just to die. Picture, please. Now, I know that sounds harsh. But look at everything that's happened. Every time I've saved something, it's resulted in that thing getting killed. Or like, like if I save the bird, three birds die. So I'm actually going to get let something like this die. I mean, it's a nest in a garage. They're not going to thrive anyway. The, what, the best case scenario is they hatch and then fly around and David kills them anyway. So I'm going to let David get rid of the eggs and leave it exposed. So I do feel bad for that, but I need to start thinking logically. We've seen how dramatic the consequences can be, and also I've done a little bit of exploring. Look at this clock. This clock is stuck. Like, um, I, I've looked at it, but you guys haven't. I'll, um, Did I actually cause that clock Max to believes stop? she stopped it. I'm going to examine it. That wasn't there before. I'm going to see what this does. Oh, there's a ladybug stuck in the dials. Oh, okay, so that's why it stopped. But I just saved something else. That's, that's actually very weird, because that didn't have any consequences. So it's strange that that was an option, especially a pretty well hidden one. And um, yeah, the only other thing I have found from exploring is David's locker over here, which is, as you guess, locked. And there is a code on it, but I I haven't found anything of significance. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. And I think it might be something we can work out from before. Like, I think there may be a hint to, like, unknown choices, uh, the marriage date, the anniversary date. But I can't remember any, unfortunately, because it's been a while since I have played the previous episodes. So I'm going to tamper with a fuse box. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. And steal his keys. Enter the ninja. The thing is, it's daytime, so I really Son don't see how bitch. this is going to... Okay, this door was locked, but I unlocked it. <laughs> that's, that was a nice little touch there. And then I can go round. Uh, there we go. That was very, very easy. Gotcha. Now I can snag the keys. And to be honest... I am actually just going to reverse time so David's not suspicious. Like, there's no way of him saying, oh, you you fiddled with the fuse box, didn't you, so you could get the keys. But now, I am here, and I have the keys, and what happens if I speak to David now? Anything I can do for you, Max? Did I accidentally I, undo the conversation? I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom. I think I might have undone the conversation, so I'm having the conversation I had won. last episode now. So I'll and pretend what you just said is true, Missy. I'll just get out of this Excuse as soon as me. I can. That's Miss Caulfield. We have heard all this. Yes, sir. Now, I have something you and to Chloe admit, still better be and careful I feel where you really wander. bad for it. That there rhymed. are a lot of dark okay. places in our cave. I, I managed to get this far without places? having episode I can't three tell you everything that's me, going on at Blackwell. But it You've seen has come too much to the time already, where so it's too spoiled for me, mess. and I feel really bad for admitting it. Part of me did want to hide it and just act surprised, but it felt too wrong. I know what happens at what I believe is the end of episode three. And that shit ass is lucky he didn't get suspended. I'm not sure what to do about yeah, it. There's no way I can unlearn the knowledge. Thanks but to you. I feel as though I, I should come clean with you guys. The at the time. I... So this conversation, I'm going to quickly end it. Am... Okay, I'm really glad I skipped back. That was like Sorry, a five minute conversation. And I didn't even realize. Case, Jesus so Christ, I don't know how I would have no talked over that. So but... maybe I should just switch off the electricity. Wait, what? Why? I've, I've already got the keys. I really want to know the code, but let's just use the keys and unlock. And as far as what happens at the end of episode 3, I will say to I you guys, I will spoiler warner warning it in case you don't want to know, but I will say when I get a free moment, I want to see what's in this locker meanwhile, because it was very well secured, so. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Yeah, this is, oh, yes. this is a pretty big jackpot, but I still, I'm still under the impression he's just doing his own investigating, it's not. It doesn't make him suspicious at all. Coordinates is very strange. Maybe he's got a GPS tracker on something or someone. Twin Peaks? Uh, that name... Oh, no, he... What? He's got photos of Nathan beating up Warren. He was photographing that. And... Oh, it must be on Chloe's car that he's got a tracker. Which I suppose would explain how... Okay, when did he get that photo of me. That writing on the tree is very conveniently obstructed. If you guys can read that, then let me know. I can see the payoff, obviously, but I'm not sure what the rest of it is. I want to see Max's take on this. Score. Chloe's especially. Back to Chloe now. 
Okay, um... Is there anywhere I can be confrontational Sorry, about this? Max. No, I okay. Can't talk and work. That is a shame. I would like to do that. But, episode 3... Okay, spoiler warning. Honestly, if you don't want to know what happens at the end of episode 3, let me know now. I mean, well, no. Like, pause now and skip to the timestamp on screen now if you want to skip past the spoiler warning. Okay, I know that... Uh, this this is my understanding. I ha I okay. You know how we got spoiled. First of all, I hate to name drop. First of all, because it feels as though I'm starting a witch hunt. Please don't witch hunt them. It's understandable. But Geek Remix, funnily enough, the people I praised last episode started uploading videos about theories on a new episode, and that's understandable. But they start. It got to the point where their later uploads started spoiling exactly what happened, and it, it was in the fucking thumbnail and the description. And it really pissed me off when I was scrolling through my subscriptions and I just saw that straight there in my face. And um, uh, what I learned is that Chloe gets shot or killed or something at the end of this episode. And not only that, they spoiled the fact that Rachel is found dead. So I'm really, really pissed off because part of it, part of, um, I mean, I know it's partly my mistake, but I was thinking, should I unsubscribe? Should I unfollow them on Twitter? But I, I felt as though, come on, they're smart of them that to openly spoil things for their fans, which they know are interested in Life is Strange. It did piss me off. And the reason they've done it is to get views. That's, that's my understanding of it. They posted those things in the description and the thumbnail, so that people did click on it more easily and know what they were looking for. Because it's theories about those events, so it's understandable, but it's pissed me off. It really has, because usually they're good with spoiler warnings. But there you go. End of episode three spoilers. I we're now all on the same level, unless you chose to skip it. So now you can um now we all know where we are, and I won't have to fake surprise or whatever. Yo, Chloe! But I can call Chloe now. Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. And you, Max. Plus, there's some location coordinates. David is. Like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Okay, I'll be nice to visit Kate. But what I will say also is I'll avoid making any reference to what I just said in that spoiler section. I won't... I'll avoid making theories and stuff until all that stuff actually happens. Because obviously some people might have skipped it, and because I want to avoid jumping to assumptions, this I tried to block the information floor. out of my head as much as the I could, but it wasn't out. possible. Sorry. I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. Hey, that's, that's I had no nice idea what she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. That's really nice of her to do that. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, respect points gained for Chloe. That was Thanks, Chloe. heartfelt. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. It's also oh, nice yes. to be in a new setting, <laughs> like a hospital. It's weird being in a new location. It's so bright here. Quite, um, quite the dichotomy considering what it is. Uh, that's, that's actually weird how hospitals are always so bright considering a full of death and illness and sickness. But there we go, we get to have a little conversation with Kate. It's weird how this scene must not happen Max. if you didn't <gasps> save her. You, I, I don't know, maybe go to a funeral or something. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate. She has weird ears. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. 
I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. Aww. I'm keeping the balloons, though. <laughs> One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I'm curious to see what drawings I love your are. illustrations. Because she was... They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. <laughs> I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel and Mr. Jefferson. Oh, no. Even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Yeah, um, Kate's drawings have always been very interesting and surreal, so I'm looking forward to seeing those. Let's have a look at all the Principal stuff Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Yeah, I'll see him acting very professional about it and offering his assistance. That's pretty nice of him. Let's have a look at the postcards. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. I uh, Nathan, I really <laughs> River Song signed it. In fact, could that could that be a Doctor Who reference? Because River Song is actually a character in Doctor Who is very involved with time travel. And River S. I oh, know we haven't met a character called River, so that's strange. I thought that was Nathan, but no, no, that's Warren. Okay, it's nice that the class members Victoria have Victoria Chase up. might be Queen Bitch, but she's not evil. I want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything at Victoria. I am. Um, I have a feeling I'm. Okay, that's a new conversation choice. I have a feeling I'm being too harsh with Victoria, Nathan. I, I always have been, but let's wait and see. I guess. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Oh yeah, they were a couple of the people I referenced to when trying to talk her down from the rooftop. I, yeah, I really want to know what happens to this scene for people who didn't manage to save her. I think the sitting is what's going to happen when I end this. I don't know, always talking to her going to do that. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Okay, I'll save the best till last. The drawings, let's have a look at these. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Yeah, this is looking much more like her old art style, which is nice. Is that a dead... Is that a dead cat? Don't be a dead cat. It looks like a dead cat. I... Okay, it's it's for a children's illustration. Maybe I shouldn't look into it too much. Look at the balloons, though. I don't think get well is quite apropos. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not exactly um, appropriate, but neither is apropro as a way of saying appropriate. Jeez, Max. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Max has never actually talked about her views on religion, which is interesting. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. I suppose Taylor can relate to the whole family being ill or uh, death in general thing. Um, what was I saying though? Yeah, Max hasn't stated her views on religion, which I feel as though she, she doesn't believe in religion. I feel as though she's atheist, otherwise she would have instantly associated her powers with it, which would be the sensible thing Kate, to do. it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Uh, what do I get to talk I, I really want to talk about Nathan, so I'll leave the best till last. Let's talk about her first, because that feels... Um... Uh, what's, it, what's it called? Considerate, that's it. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes! And... You could bring Warren along, too. You better not have a crush on Warren. Don't you dare be creeping on my guy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be inquisitive. Let's see why she said that. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know? You know he likes okay, you. Okay, good. She knows he's and taking I'm property. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, a, a date seems weird. I can't wait for that no, date. you deserve that. Do we know Kate how far Marsh, away it is? Matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. It feels like um, it feels like that's been topic of di uh, discussion for ages, but it hasn't actually happened. All right, Victoria next. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel, Max? I know Victoria can be a 
uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. I wasn't so nice to her this week either when I took a picture of her covered in paint. Uh, it was not a proud moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Uh, I, I do need to be more understanding of Victoria, but I don't regret anything I've done or said to her because I need to show her how much of an arse she's being and I need to stand up for myself. That's why I'm treating her the way she is. Uh, I don't think she is insecure. Like, a lot of people do act out when they are insecure. But th she feels like something else. She honestly doesn't come off as being insecure. Just completely vain and narcissistic. More than Nathan in some cases. Because uh, Nathan, like, it, he admits he's messed up. And he it doesn't seem as though he has... Oh, no, he does have confidence because of his family name. But it feels as though um, he's got more humility than Victoria. So I am actually going to talk shit. That's she's a it. bitch. I'm sorry, but she's wealthy, pretty, and yes, talented. So there's no reason for her to treat people like shit. Well, there must be. If Victoria could write me such a sincere letter. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. It honestly will. And yeah, she wrote the letter, but it could just be keeping up appearances or trying to make like a, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a friend now and I'm there for her, so I'm not such a bad person. That could just be what she's trying to do, so I'm not buying it for a single second that she is insecure. I'm sorry, I could be wrong, but that's my view on it. I'm going to be quite stubborn about it. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? I've just realized there's actually a lot to happen between now and the end of the game. And we've only got one episode left of it, I'm Uh, Vortex Club, Prescott Family. Okay, so that's, I presume, talking about the investigation and surveillance into the Prescott Family and then being exposed in the media. This, I I don't know what, too much. Um, are we doing any investigating in the Vortex Club? I'm gonna talk about the option I actually know about, just cause, yeah, I don't feel so, yeah, in fact, that's insensitive to talking about the Vortex Club after what happened, so. I think his family is totally protecting him, or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell <laughs> Alice I'll see her soon. Okay, no, that's that's good, Kate. Um, offering her help like that. And her doing it is much better than me doing it due to her position right now. If anyone does any, like if anything happens, Kate, I feel as though eyes would be on Nathan, so she's kinda got protection in that regard. Um, is the chair blasting or can I leave now? I don't wanna leave. What happens if I sit in the chair? But yeah, it feels as though we got investigating to do in the Prescott house. We got the Vortex Club. We got the date with Warren. We got it's amazing to just sit um, here quietly. The, the apocalypse again. to deal with, essentially. It feels as though episode I don't five. Think I'll ever know how much I hate to say this. I feel as though it's going to be rushed. I feel as though there's just too but much, too many big events. Whoever said we only have a single fate. And Max is truly screwing up her destiny by messing around with timelines <sighs> time and travel time travel. Is such a mind fuck. It's weird her saying fuck, like, just casually like that, Usually, like, if she's angry, then yeah, but that was a bit just nonchalant. Okay, it was nice just in Kate. I thought so it won't be the last we see of her, she has offered her help. The clock is ticking in this room, okay, that's good. Let's leave the hospital and have a chat with Chloe, and start planning as to how we're going to bring down well, her press she? shots. She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God.
I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Oh man, I have no idea what to think of Nathan and the situation um, as far as him goes. Oh, Mr. Jefferson, he's another dark horse in this entire thing. He is definitely up to more than he lets on. And I feel as though he could be behind a lot of the things going on around Blackwell. As for him working with the Prescotts, I don't think that is the case. But I feel as though something similar could be going on as far as Mr. Jefferson goes. Oh, the handyman too. What's his name? Uh, I, f I forget. That's really annoying me. Oh, hey, Max. Oh, yes, we're going to get to speak to him. Sweet. Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird being suspended and just walking around campus. Well, you are an adult now. This isn't prison, is it? Not until we get orange jumpsuits. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you uh, will. He's so good. Hot I hate teacher. it. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. He's don't really be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Like, I loved Mr. Jefferson, uh, Mark Jefferson, at the beginning, but he is so... Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. He's so good at working around people, that's what I feel. He knows exactly what to say, and... Ugh. Okay, we'll, we'll get to explore campus a tiny bit before. I, I kind Every time I see a rugby ball, I want to do something with it. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. This is where the photo was, so... Um... David must have been on the hill. Oh, there's no real places to hide, and being in a bush is pretty stupid, so he must have been by the statue. Rachel owes me money, pay up, bitch. Let's talk to... You. Oh yeah, hey, this character, Daniel, Daniel he hasn't really done out. anything. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Ah, uh, I love your drawings. Take different photos, thank you. Okay. It feels as though I've done something that sparked this response, so I know that's a bad basis on which to pick it, but reassuring him will be a good idea. It'll stop him giving up anyway, so I will say that. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. It kind of feels like Dragon Age Inquisition, or... Um, which in the sense you're gathering allies to fight a final force. That's what it feels like right now. Getting everyone on my good side. Uh, end of world party. Good icy star song. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. I wonder if I can encourage him to go. Um, having more people there who wouldn't typically be there, I feel is a good thing. It might spark the change of the kind of shit that goes on at the Vortex Club party. So, I'm going to be going, which is a change. Chloe will be going, which isn't much of a change, but let's get Daniel to go too. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. Oh, thanks, Daniel. That's... I'm happy that you actually agreed to do that. 
Let's get some information on Kate and Nathan. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she needs. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. It feels like Daniel is Only too nice. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. It seems though he wouldn't really stand up for himself or talk shit about anybody unless he was pushed into a corner. Even then, I don't know. Um, I don't like him too much. Let's ask about Nathan. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? You mean lately? Like, any time today? I saw Jefferson talking with Nathan a little while ago, but uh, I try to stay out of his way. I have enough assholes to deal with here. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Okay, so Jefferson has been talking to Nathan. That's a recipe for disaster. I want to talk to the skaters. Why can't the skaters be bigger characters? I wonder if I can talk to the jocks. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Okay, I'll go and talk to those later towards the end. Let's have a look at Zachary. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I'm just standing here staring at him. He, he doesn't even acknowledge my existence. How oh, nice. Can we check out the totem? I don't think the Tobango will ever give up any secrets to us. I love how it's just casually sitting there. It's like this big statue That's of mystery. so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Uh, excuse me? Oh, I, you, hey, you Brooke, bitch. Hey, how are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? That sounded so sincere. Totally. Wales. Let's ask her about Wales. She might have an educated opinion. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh, whoops, I totally... I wasn't sending a text, I swear to God. I heard about comparing notes, beach whales, solar eclipse. I am jealous about Warren, though, oh, so fuck you, Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. Hmm. Okay, if you can't explain it, then it must be scary. We ask about drone loss. Let's dig some more dirt on Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Oh, okay, you bro. bitch. Um, but right now, I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you. Oh, you shut up. Okay. I hate her. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Oh, uh, shit, I... No, I... Annoys me. Really annoys me. Can I... Can I... No, I can't. Let's just ask about the drone. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so... Oh, my God! Have time to fly my drone. Stop really? being so bitter. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Um, uh, there's more people to talk to. Samuel. Samuel is his name. I remembered. I don't feel bad anymore. But yeah, what is up with Brooke? I'm, I know... Wasn't she dating... Make art, not war. Wasn't she dating Warren in... How would you like a partner reality? for a quick photo op? Yes, I, I missed the missable photo. Wait, a quick partner? What? How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? How how do I how do I get it a partner? Do I need to get it a nut or something? I'm I'm confused. I'm not missing this photo opportunity. That's what is this? Okay, where did these rocks come that from? Is very, yes, damn this it! This is too Blair Witch for me. I was just about to say that's something out of the Blair Witch Project, and I just I just watched the Blair Witch Project, so that that's would have been a very relevant reference for me. Max but to Max driving. beat me to it. Um, can I? Okay, let's. Let's, I'm not giving up. I'm going to be persistent with this. I'm going to undo that conversation. I'm going to see if I can get things right with Brooke. And I'm going to see if I can do something with the squirrel. No, 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 no. Okay, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I went back way too far. I'm nearly dead. 
and I have a lot to fix right now. Okay, maybe if I answer with this as opposed to the other that one. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than if one. If I'm... If or I praise mine. her a little bit, she's We'd smiling. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. Okay, now can I ask about the drone? Let's ask about Nathan and then the drone. Ask and maybe she will okay. be a bit brighter about it. Maybe, hopefully. Why is she just Miss talking Gr in the background? Really? Nope, okay. I hate Brooke. Alright, everyone on board for Brooke hate train, because I am not going to be getting off it anytime soon. I still can't do anything with Zachary or the squirrels. So, let's have a look at Miss Grant and Samuel. Out and about, Max. Hi, Miss Grant. Can you talk to Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. you were and talking I swear, about me. it's not about that petition you didn't sign. We haven't really seen much about Miss Grant, but she seems smart, so I'm going to ask her about recent events. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Uh, scientific. Let's say it goes beyond science. Let's see how open she is about anything that isn't scientific. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. That's a nice statement. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Right, I get what she's saying, but science is right until proven wrong, if that makes sense. Laws didn't exist before they existed, and when they're disproven, new laws are created, which render the old laws completely useless, no matter how long people believe them. So I don't fully agree with that. Let's talk about prophecy. Oh, Hopi prophecy. Come on, bring it in, please. So... You don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Not really. Unless you count those end of the world posters. Unless you know something I don't. Oh, can I maybe... Tobonga time travel? Let's ask... Yeah, let's talk about Tobonga slightly more. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about time travel, not with her. I wonder if the Tobanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. <laughs> it was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. Also, it's Tabanga, not Tabonga. Sorry for the incorrect pronunciation. Let's talk about Kate. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? And David. You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Me? Uh, no thanks? Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I think I've talked to pretty I much everybody Kate here. I wish come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. It's good to see Miss Grant is on my side, I guess. Uh, let's ask. I'm not too suspicious of Principal Wells at all, so I'm going to see what she thinks of the Prescotts. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Okay, it's good that she agrees on my views about most stuff, but Nathan, she won't be able to talk badly about Nathan because he's a student and you can't do that as a teacher. So I'm curious to see what she's going to say about this. I was looking for Nathan Prescott and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. Uh, study partners. Let's see if she buys this. Just study partners. 
I can't believe he does have friends. That depends what your definition is. But I'd like to see more friendships at Blackwell, less bullying. Especially after this week. Me too, Miss Grant. So, you don't know where Nathan is? I saw him sulking off campus earlier. But you look like you have more on your mind than a question. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. I'm worried about Nathan because he's off the radar. Clean up graffiti from those kids. That's never good. All right, let's see if Samuel can't help with the squirrels. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Um, We've seen his views on animals, but... Yeah, let's just ask about everything. Why not go in? I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. It's very helpless. I'm going to ask about dead birds, because they seem to be most common. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Well, I'm going to ask about Tabanga, because he seems though someone much more knowledgeable about it than Miss Grant. Is that cool with the Tabanga? <laughs> we'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate. Then it doesn't matter. How does fate not matter? That's something... Doesn't seem like the sort of thing he'd say. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Photo opportunity, hell yeah. Won't miss getting them together so I can get my photo. Samuel's spirit animal is definitely a squirrel. With um, how sort of friendly he is, his views on stuff. He's It seems so he's careful about stuff and he collects stuff. It, yeah, Sorry definitely. to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. Can I ask about the beached whales? I definitely have. Let's see if I can oh. Already been through this, so ask about them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. It feels weird how in touch he is with nature. Um, let's try and be supportive. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. How does he know all this stuff? He's so insightful, it's crazy. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Uh, let's see how he feels about Kate. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Thank you very much. I he does believe in fate, so destiny must be something he's knowledge about too. It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so that's her destiny. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. But didn't I change her destiny by saving her? If so, that's pretty worrying and contradictory to what you said. Let's talk about David. It's, it'd be nice to talk about him. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's well, how David operates. Samuel's probably bullied by he David. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. That's either good or bad. Let's be inquisitive. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. So he's seen David spying on me, presumably. 
And last but not least, Nathan. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. That means he does or has. So what does he know? So what do you know about Nathan? I know enough to not want to know anymore. Well, okay. Enough said. Don't brush it off like you that. You know a lot of Blackwell secrets, so I thought you could help me. Max. Ah, reverse psychology. I I'm a custodian, not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. Has he been, uh, s vowed to silence or something? Why is he being so stubborn about that? Let's talk about Arcadia Bay to I leave still it. have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Aww. Oh, there's actually a lot more to talk about. Let's see what he thinks about the Eclipse. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that Eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Uh, ooh, maybe he will know about the prophecy. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. Oh, well, you know it. A and Max, I don't like it at all. He totally knows about the apocalypse. I love that it's called Vortex Club too, because the Vortex is like a tornado or whatever. Uh, so what's about Rachel? I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Um... See if he knows anything about her location. That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. But... Of how... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Oh man, he is... Why can't we ask him more? He clearly knows everything. I love how you got science on the right and nature on the left. It's like a very nice contrast there. Um, I'll talk about Rachel in a second. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. Oh, I'm sorry. Sure. I better get going now. That sounds very ominous. And it seems I'm walking into doom from what you said. But I can live the squirrels now and get my photo. Yeah, with Rachel Amber. It's very, um... Get that food in your belly. Very interesting surname, Amber. Because Amber, it's like the DNA of dinosaurs stuck in time. And there's... I, I still think that Rachel is stuck in time, so to speak. Or has been. And that's, that explains her missing location. Can I lure this one too? No! No, where's he gone? Where's... He? Oh, there that's we go. So ironic, that photo opportunity. Not. Sweet. So... Um, this has gone on longer than I thought, and apologies for that if you don't like the longer episodes as much, but next time will be the last one, it will be the finale of episode 4, so I'll look forward to that, and I believe we'll be going to the Vortex Club party, which will be, um, eventful, I believe, considering based on everything we've heard about it. So, we can talk to Chloe and Justin next episode, and see what's going on with them. This is me, Evan from Z11, and this is me out. Peace.